numerical that's the first numerical that we're gonna do and uh, I'm not gonna give you too much of pre brief we'll directly get into it straight okay so in the back of your mind you should always know that we are dealing a numerical of this order so the numerical will have a principal axis it will have a lens yeah, you will have a focus, a twice the focus, a focus and a twice the focus, right? So here, let's directly get into the sum. A three centimeter tall object. So what is this three centimeter tall? The size of the object, the height of the object. So object is O and uh, the value is three centimeters. Okay, now object height, is it positive or negative? The object is always kept somewhere over here, right? So the height is always measured corresponding to the y-axis. So it's positive. It's on the upside. So this is positive. Okay. Is placed perpendicular to the principal axis. Of course, it's placed perpendicular to the principal axis of a convex lens. Now, why are they saying convex lens and what data do you gather from the convex lens? The convex lens is told to you for you to assume and know and understand that the focal length is always positive. The focal length is 15 centimeter and that is positive. The distance of the object from the axis is 18 centimeter. The distance of the object from the axis is 18 centimeters. So they are telling you that the object distance U is 18 centimeters. Now U is always an object is always kept on the left hand side. Therefore, the left hand side is negative on the x axis. It is negative. Cool. Now find the nature, find the nature. Then they're saying find the position of the image. And then they're saying also find the magnification. We'll find them all. Trust me. Now, from the sum, what does it look like? Focal length is 15. Matlab, ye distance kitna hai? Ye pandra hai. This is 15. Ye pandra hai, to ye kitna hai? Ye tis hai. Tis. So this is at 15. This is the focus. Pandra, 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 tis. Object kaha par rakha hua hai? Athara pe rakha hua hai. So the object is somewhere over here. Ye 15 hai, to 16, 17. Here it is kept. Iska height kitna hai? Teen. So where is the object actually kept? It is kept between the F and the 2F. So where should the image be formed? The image should be formed beyond 2F. So now you know that the position of the image has to be more than 30. It has to be beyond 2F. Getting it? So let's get into the calculations. So the formula that we're going to take is 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. What do I want over here? I want V. So I keep the V as it is. 1 upon V is equal to 1 upon F plus 1 upon U. Now I directly substitute. 1 upon V is equal to 1 upon F. 15 plus 1 upon 18. Minus N. So you minus N right over here. So what is the LCM? The LCM over here is 90. Okay. You're getting this, right? So I'm going to say... Um, 15 into how many times is uh, t that is 6 and this is minus 5 so 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon 90 so now I do invert endo v is equal to 90 centimeters so we get v over here okay now what is v v is the position of the image so the image is formed at 90 right so this is 30 this is 15 this is 30 and the image is formed over here which is of course correct beyond 2f and it's positive and it's positive that means it is formed on this side so we are right the sum is the right at this point in time so the next we have to find out more data now i upon o is equal to v upon u remember this formula we had i upon o is equal to v upon U. So let's start substituting. What do I want from this? I want I. I don't have I. So I is equal to V into O upon U. Therefore, I is equal to V. We just got V, right? So I substitute that 90 into O. How much is O? 3 upon U. How much is U? Minus 18. Therefore, how much is I? I is equal to 18 ones are 18 fives are 5 and therefore the negative sign 
इंटू थ्री तो कितना है आई यू टेल मी आई इज माइनस फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर सो वी गेट आई ऑल्सो हियर वी गेट वी वी गेट आई द क्वेश्चन सेज आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट मैग्निफिकेशन सो वॉट इज मैग्निफिकेशन मैग्निफिकेशन इज इक्वल टू वी अपॉन यू देफ ऑर मैग्निफिकेशन इज इक्वल टू वी कितना है नाइन्टी यू कितना है माइनस एटीन देफ ऑर मैग्निफिकेशन कितना हुआ माइनस फाइव मैग्निफिकेशन विल नॉट हैव अ यूनिट रिमेंबर दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ रेशियो ना वॉट इज अ क्वेश्चन सेइंग पोजिशन ऑफ द इमेज पोजिशन ऑफ द इमेज इज वॉट दिस that which means we got the position of the image the position of the image is equal to v is equal to 90 cm that's what they asked us so we are giving them this what's the next thing they are asking nature of the image what is the nature of the image is it real or is it inverted now you tell me real hai ki inverted hai v is positive v is positive therefore it is real What is I? Is I positive or negative? I is negative. I is negative. Therefore, inverted. So you understood this always. This is true. Whenever V is negative, it is virtual. V is positive. It is real. I is negative. Is inverted. I is positive. It is erect. Now they are asking you what is the size of the? This is the second thing they asked. The next. What is the size? Look at I and look at O. What is the value of I? It is minus fifteen. What is the value of O? It is three. So leave the negative sign. The negative sign and the positive sign is only telling you where it is placed. I bada hai ki O bada hai. I bada hai. Therefore, it is magnified. How many times it is magnified? It is magnified five times. You can also see over here and say, right? Three into five is fifteen, so it's magnified, and the magnification is five. So the magnification is five because it's five times magnified. You're getting a fair hang of how to get this numerical, right? Great. So look at the whole numerical, and uh, we are quickly going to get into the second numerical. So let's do the second. लेंथ ऑफ अ लेंस जिसका पावर इज दिस मच नाउ यहां पर पॉजिटिव है मतलब ये लेंस कॉन्वेक्स है करेक्ट है ओके सो पावर इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एफ एंड दिस विल बी इन मीटर्स व्हाट्स द डेटा गिवन टू यू द डेटा गिवन टू यू इज पावर इज इक्वल टू पॉजिटिव 2.5 डायोप्टर्स दैट्स द डेटा गिवन टू अस राइट पॉजिटिव 2.5 डायोप्टर्स डी इज ऑलवेज capital so what do we want over here we need f so i'm taking f which i will always get in meters is equal to 1 upon p so the f which i will get in meters will be equal to 1 upon 2.5 correct so now how much is this take 10 upon 25 how much is this 0.4 so f is 0.4 meters you are free to leave it as it is or if you want you can convert it into 40 centimeters but i would suggest just leave it as it is so that's the sum uh, very simple sum right sum third sum calculate the focal length of the corrective lens having power positive 4 corrective lens so here they're not telling you what kind of lens it is but the positive sign tells you clearly it's a convex lens they want you to find out the focal length and they're giving you that power is equal to 4 positive diopter so power is equal to 1 upon focal length in meters so you need focal length and the answer will be in meters which is equal to 1 upon p power now how much is it 1 upon 4 4 so how do you do this tell me 4 10 how much tell me come on 4 2s are 8 2 0 4 5s are 20 what is the answer the answer is 0.25 meters you can leave it as meters or if you want to you can convert it into centimeters An object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeters. So u is given. U is equal to 10 centimeters. Now, object distance is always negative, whether it is convex or concave. Now, a convex lens of focal length. So f, how much is it? 
centimeters always positive find the position and nature of the image position of the image so position of the image is what position of the image is v right i don't know v um, nature of the image nature of the image means what do they expect from me to know whether it is real or virtual they expect from me whether it is inverted or erect okay very simple sum 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u uh, what do i want v again the same way v is equal to 1 upon f plus 1 upon u start substituting 1 upon f 12 1 upon u 10 minus n so the lcm is uh, i'm taking 120 so this is going to be 10 minus 12 that is going to be 2 upon 120 that is going to be 1 upon 60 notice the negative sign you put the negative sign now this is not equal to v huh? this is 1 upon v students may make a mistake if you don't carry this forward as it is make sure you write the therefore sign 1 upon v is this much therefore how much is v invert tendo minus 60 centimeters you getting this okay now look at the sum in the sum if you if you just keep this in your mind this is the convex lens focus double the focus focus double the focus focus kit man the focus is 12 centimeters this is 12 object ka par rakha hai 10 centimeters inside the focal length so where is the image being formed the image will be formed this side correct hai? so it's formed this side Matlab the v is negative therefore your v that we just got is negative you're understanding right okay so now so we got the position of the image okay so we get the position what's the next question they're asking you nature so v is negative therefore this is virtual and you know that virtual images are always erect images so the nature is virtual and erect a good sum there's a high probability that sums like this could come. We do the next sum. Um, the sum number five. A convex lens form. This is an important sum. It's a smart sum. It's a tricky sum. It's an application-based sum. So let's see whether you've really got the previous four sums. If you've got those along with the image formation, it is easy for you to get the sum. So let's kick it. Okay, a convex lens. So what is this data gonna give you? A convex lens. This is telling you that F is positive. Okay, forms a real and an inverted image. So what does a real image mean? That V will be positive. What is an inverted image? What is this data gonna give you information? It tells you that I is negative. Okay, this is the information that you are having from these three words of a pencil that's your object at a distance of 40 centimeters from the lens so your 40 centimeter kya hai image ka distance hai your object ka distance hai fir se padte hai. a convex lens forms a real and inverted image at 40 centimeters so this is the image distance v is equal to 40 centimeters positive or negative positive kaise malum pada positive hai because it's telling you that this real got it now the image formed is of the same size of the object another data they're giving you is o is equal to i now aap mujhe batao aapke sare image formation mein of all the image that you have over here what all images you have first is beyond 2f the second is what at 2f What's the next one between 2f and f what's the next one at f and the next is between f and the optical center yes sub me where do you have a case when the object ka size is equal to the image ka size there is only one case right that is here at 2f when you keep it at 2f so this is a sum which is based on this particular positioning. Let's go ahead. The image formed is of the same size as the object. Find the focal length, find F, find the power of the lens and at what distance is the pencil placed from the lens. Pencil object at what distance is you. It's always going to be negative here. So this is what we are having and let's get into it straight. Are you ready? Are you with me on it? Okay. Now here you know that magnification is minus one 
magnification is minus 1. Now, what is the formula for magnification? Magnification is equal to V upon U. How do I know it's minus 1? Because they're saying they're telling you that it's the same size. Same size matlab 1. I is negative, which is why it is minus. Now, that means what? This is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute this. Now, what is V? 40 upon u is equal to minus 1 therefore u is equal to minus 40 you get this now what do you do now you substitute by saying 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now you put the values and you get the answer f is equal to 20 centimeters now this is for you to do i'm just cutting it short here okay how do i get this i substitute do i have f i want f do I have V? I have V. Do I have U? I just got U. So I have F is equal to 20. Now what do I do once I get F? This is in centimeters. For me to get power is 1 upon F. This has to be in meters. So I will convert this into meters first. My first step is to convert this into meters. 0 0.2 meters. Now power is equal to 1 upon 0 0.2. Do the math get the calculation and you will get this is equal to five diopters easy peasy